Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I am Mahfuzur Rahman, lecturer, ICD department, Milestone College. I hope you all are fine and safe at your respective home and you are fine to be our as a part of regular lecture classes what we are taking in live from YouTube and any other media and I hope you are not feeling bored and if obviously you feel very much excited and your rhythm of study is back I hope because we are continuously trying to keep you updated with our recent study your regular schedule and your regular syllabus so I hope you maintain the safety and hygiene what we know already it's a part of our daily life to follow and it's mandatory to maintain this safety hygiene when you're going out and when you're reaching at your homes because I know you have to go out sometime to do some major work so please I want to remember you again please maintain the safety hygiene and please take care of yourself and your family and obviously I know you are continuously studying with your sections routine and your own self routine to maintain yourself updated with our regular syllabus. I know we are very passing a difficult time but we have to move on our life at least you know and you have to complete your daily task your homework classwork and after that you have to sit for an online exam also okay so before I'm going to start uh, my today's lecture, I want to tell you a new concept. What is this a new concept? My new concept is today I'm going to compare or today I'm going to take a decision of a certain condition if I want to take place in front of you. Like I can tell you that if you succeed or if you complete this condition then I can give you this or if you can't succeed to fill up this condition then I will not do those things it's a very clear concept okay like if you are uh, fill up as some condition then what will happen and if you can't fill up your condition then what will happen basically when we are going to take a decision then how many portion we have we have two portion if I take this decision then what will happen and if I discard this decision then what will happen basically a decision have two part yes and no two part a decision contain basically in my today's class I'm going to talk about a new concept with decision a decision symbol we have in our flowchart and my today's lecture I'm going to introduce how we calculate with this decision relevant problem like if I, I take this decision then what will happen if I discard this decision then what will happen okay I'm going to start my lecture so today in my lecture what I have write an algorithm and flowchart to determine the biggest number among two number you see that an algorithm for flowchart determining the biggest value of two numbers so first of all I am going to show you the algorithm part how to write an algorithm uh, about this problem so algorithm means what I know you already have uh, vast knowledge about it I will again tell you algorithm means I'm going to show you a problem step by step how you're going to solve it. So let's see. Algorithm. Step one, we have start. I'm just starting the algorithm. Then step two, you see, I have to calculate two numbers among the biggest number. Two numbers I have to calculate. Then I have to take uh, input two, two number for input. 
So step two input A B input A B. Then step three, I have to calculate this determining portion. That means decision portion. Like if A is greater than B, then what will happen? If it is yes, then print A bigger. And if it is no, then print B is bigger. It's a very simple compare. A is greater than B. If yes, then A is greater than B. Then if no, then B is greater than A. That means B is bigger. This is the simple uh, steps to show showing the compare the two numbers. Okay. After that, what we have we have a induction. Okay. Now, I hope you understand the algorithm part very easily. Now, I move to flowchart part. In flowchart, what we have, you see? In flowchart, in first, I have to use start. Why start first? Then, in, you see, in step one, we have start. Then, this one, start. Step two, input A, B. We have to take two numbers, two numbers for input. You see, here, I, I use input shape, input A, B. Then, in step 3, we have if and condition. Then here you see we have a decision box or shape I have, I'm going to use. If A is greater than B, it's a question mark. If yes, then A is bigger. And if it is no, then B is bigger. Here I am going to use a connector sign, circle sign for connecting these two outputs. Because we already know in decision part, we have two portion. If the decision is yes, then what will happen? Then if the decision is no, then what will happen? So I have to connect these two output together. So when I going to connect these two output together, then I have to use this a circle shape to connect these two output all together in one. So this, yes, A is bigger and no, B is bigger. Then I connect these two output. Then finally I produce our program to the end. This is it. Hope you understand my today's videos and lectures. If you have any confusion or question, please do it at our WhatsApp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section. Again and again I want to tell you a simple thing. Please stay at home for your and your family safety. Allah Hafiz. This is Mahfuz Rahman from Milestone College ICT Department.